Super Smash Maker is my own fan-made Mario Maker game in which I've been adding loads of cool new features. Today we'll take a look at some of the coolest ones I've added so far. Also make sure to stick around to the end for a cool surprise you might have been waiting for. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe too. Let's go! A Maker game would not be complete without the editor, so I decided to add in a small prototype where you can already switch between gameplay and editor. I also added the Mario cursor and drag and drop abilities on the course bars. Over the next couple of months, I'll expand on this and make it similar to the one from Super Mario Maker 2. Let's now take a look at some more awesome additions to Super Smash Maker. You might know the recently released game named Pizza Tower. In this game, Pepino can do some cool taunts which gives the game a bit more flavor. I thought it would be cool to add these to Super Smash Maker 2. These are exact recreations of those in Pizza Tower, but now reimagined with Mario. Just imagine being able to taunt whenever you kill someone in multiplayer versus. If you hold down the taunt button long enough in Pizza Tower, Pepinu starts to breakdance. So yes, Mario needs to be able to breakdance too. This makes the radio pop up which plays some cool music too. I didn't know Mario had moves like that. If he stops, the radio disappears as well. What do you think about these? We're not done with Pizza Tower just yet. Another thing I really liked about the game are these TVs in the top right corner which react to what you're doing in game. I decided to add them too. When nothing is really happening, this gets shown on screen. Mario will just look at you and sometimes look a bit scared. However, it gets quite cool when he picks up a power-up. In this case, a fire flower. This turns TV Mario into fire Mario as well, with a fireball in his hand. And if he picks up a star, TV Mario will go a bit crazy and change colors until the star timer runs out. We're planning on adding animations for all power-ups and actions Mario can perform. I just know we will all love this. A cool platform from Super Mario Maker 2 is the snake block. I decided to add it to the game too and gave it the full editor functionality. As the builder, you can enlarge the platform and draw the path which it has to follow. Then it will follow that path like usual and fall down if it has reached the end. In Mario Maker 2 we have the green and blue snake blocks, so these were the versions I added to Super Smash Maker first, but I've always felt like there should be more versions, wouldn't you agree? Maybe one that's a tad bit faster than the blue version, like this red one for example. These variants have a matte face, making sure the player knows they're up to no good. Here's how fast it could be. Hold on, let's maybe not break it. There we go, that's better. This could be great for difficult Kaiser levels, don't you think? Aside from that, I had another snake block variation idea as well. We now have a very fast snake block, why not make a very slow one too? I did not have sprites for these, so for now just use the red ones. It will most likely be orange or something. As you can see, this one goes really slow. Perfect for all the little Timmies among us. Even more variations might be added later, so stay tuned. I've added several power-ups to the game already, but one power-up that's awesome and I haven't added yet is the Mega Mushroom. As you know, this power-up makes Mario grow significantly. Here's how it looks in Super Smash Maker. Looks cool, right? As you can see, I decided to add a very unique growing animation when the Mega Mushroom gets eaten by Mario. He becomes about 3 times wider and 4 times taller. Here's a funny glitch I have with the animation too, where it kept resetting. After about 10 seconds, Mario shrinks back to his original size using the same animation, but reversed. Of course, Mario can grow even bigger as we have seen in the game Bowser's Fury, where he can become Giga Mario. Bowser's Fury actually has an unused power-up called the Giga Mushroom, which makes you grow as big as this, which is a lot taller than Mega Mario. I just had to add this gameplay mechanic to Super Smash Maker, and we even made a cool custom Giga Mushroom sprite. If Mario becomes Giga, only his feet can be seen on screen. This gives the player a unique gaming experience, as I can assure you no one has done this before. What do you think about this? In Mario Maker 2 we have normal thwomps and sideways thwomps. Although these are very cool, I think I speak for us all when I say I want a cooler version added to the game. That's why I had the genius idea to add a diagonal thwomp. If Mario gets in range, the thwomp will move to that position quite quickly, which makes it a very dangerous enemy. Here are some more gameplay examples. As a matter of fact, we should probably call it the all-directional thwomp, as he can move in all directions. What other thwomp variations would you like to see? Let me know. My co-programmer Tomatech has been working on a beta release for a while and we're happy to announce that on this special day, you can start playing it right now. The link can be found in the description. Have fun playing. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and thanks for watching.